Welcome back to the channel everybody. The time has come. It's time to cook up some of the 17 year cicadas. I don't know how this is going to turn out, but you might want to stick around for this one. Might get pretty ugly. So today I got about 14 17 year cicadas here and I'm gonna fry these up on a recipe that I found online I got the link in the description below so uh, like I said I don't know what's gonna happen but let's find out all right I have no idea how this is gonna turn out but the recipe online said to get them freeze them for about three hours or overnight it says to soak them in a marinade and then use this but I'm not using the marinade I'm just going straight to the straight to the breading and also it didn't say that I am gonna rip the wings off because I don't know as though I want to eat those so I'm gonna rip the wings off all these guys and then I'm gonna bread them cut off so I'm gonna dip them in the egg dip them in the flour kind of like the mushrooms I did in the last video and we're gonna get these breaded and throw them in the oil so this batter on the website is just flour paprika onion powder garlic powder and salt so it's pretty simple uh, I think the paprika is gonna give a little kick so and that'll take some of the 17 year gaminess flavor away I don't know these are looking pretty good though aren't they maybe and like I said look just like the website says you just gotta freeze them for a few hours or overnight and then uh, you don't have to take the wings off if you don't want to, but I am just because I didn't figure it was going to add any flavor. And I don't think I'm taking any flavor away by taking the wings off. They're starting to get a little soft on me. I probably better hurry up. I don't want these things coming back alive. Not before I get them cooked. Also, I do want to remind you that Always consult a physician before you do something stupid like this. You never know how it's going to turn out. I don't want to be responsible. Alright, so, get a little extra breading on there for flavor. I'm going to wash my hands, and I think the oil's hot, and we're going to get these guys cooking. Our oil's steaming. I think it's plenty hot. We got them all breaded. So we're just going to go ahead and put these in. I don't think they're going to take very long, probably two or three minutes. And we're going to get these out and ready to go. What we don't want to do is overcook them. Don't want to overcook these. Grease might have been just a little warm, but I'm going to pull them out. They look like they're done. Well, they look done, I guess. I guess they're ready to eat. I don't know. I made sure to get a tall, cool, Mick Ultra wash these down with because I really don't know about this. So see what happens. Well, they're all right with a 17 year marinade. They're all right. I think you need a little ketchup. You don't really taste a whole lot other than the breading and the little bit of crunchiness 
I don't know if these would be good with ranch. Probably not. But here's a cicada. They're a little dry. A little gamey. <coughs> I wouldn't make them for a party. They're not very good. Not gonna lie. Well, to give my overall review, I think that uh, this really wasn't worth the time. But I will say I'm glad that I tried it. I'll probably eat a few more, but I don't think I'm gonna eat all these. I'd probably get a little more seasoning on them. They're kind of just a little bit dry and they're not very there's really no taste to them. It's just the fact that you're eating a bug. So if you can get over that, you can kind of crunch on these as a snack. But like I said, I don't think I'm gonna recommend these. And I'm definitely not gonna try it again in 17 years, but I am glad I tried it. Uh, if you're gonna try this at home, like I said, do it at your own risk. Um, know that you're already eating a bug. But it was pretty exciting to try. So all in all, I, uh, I think I'll stick to my normal foods. Uh, I think we're just going to go ahead and have steak and potatoes tonight. I'm not going to have these for supper, but thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you check in, see what I got coming up this summer. Make sure you hit that look. <sighs> make sure you hit that like. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you check me out on Instagram. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.